I love everything you do, and you're a good person. Yeah, you don't see that. Paul's just having a morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm having a morning every morning. Wait, you know, and technically, that's a benefit of living. Um, so. <laughs> there you go. Right, the pain. You know, the pain makes you helps you know you're alive. Yeah, <laughs> it's very zen. It is. Or, you it know, is it's very nice. zen or something like that. Um, and speaking of things that still appear to be living, uh, there was somebody posted up screenshots from some uh, Xbox developer documentation that was not released publicly, but was. I'm just gonna stop you right there. I, apparently, you've never been to YouTube because YouTube <laughs> tells me that this is nonsense and. There's a guy, I don't know his name, but he's making up stuff about this Lockhart thing that doesn't even exist. So been writing about it since twenty eighteen, Paul. <laughs> I've heard I've heard them all. They've all been stabbed deep and keep twisting. Why? Why do you lie, Brad? Why? What's oh, what it, inspires you? It's what it's what wakes me up in the morning. It's like I can piss some people <laughs> How can off. I lie today? To the world more. <laughs> yeah. I know the feeling. Anyways, when Paul wasn't being a jerk. Um <laughs> There's some Xbox game developer documentation screenshots yeah. that were posted up from documents that were released uh, this month. I keep thinking it's July, but it's this month. And it very clearly talks about Lockhart and Lockhart profiling, which is the Xbox Series S, which they're going to more than likely be announcing here potentially this month. So you shouldn't have to wait too much longer. Oh, so you actually, oh, oh that's interesting. So you think it's going to hum Gen 1? I think so. Uh, it's, yeah. let okay. me put it this way. The developers are very clearly being told to target two different boxes. The, the Series so X. All right. Okay. Well, I mean, given that, right? Because mm-hmm. um, you can make an argument that they could leave Xbox One X in the market and that was the, is now suddenly becomes the entry level console, which is kind of cool. But so where, where does S, the Series S get positioned? So they're going to dump the, the X. The, 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 the reason why. Is, no, sorry, say it again. I didn't hear what you said. So they're going to dump the Xbox okay. One X. Yeah. Yes, the, here's the reason why. Mm-hmm. Um, that chip, the, whatever the the Jaguar chip in there, is just really damn old. And yep. by mass producing the newer chips, it's just they only have one platform to support. They don't. Plus, have to now support. this is the console. Like you could you could make the argument with the previous gen. You had a original gen Xbox One. You had the S mm-hmm. and then the X, but they were all Xbox One something. Yep. But now it becomes Xbox Series something, and that becomes the. So I, that does make sense to me. Yep. And then that's positioning, but uh, from a performance uh, visual capability perspective, where does the Series S sit compared? So to the I X? believe the target is 1080p, 60 frames per second. Okay. And then the okay. X is 4K, 60 frames per second. Um. So depending on what I'm trying, you're... To, I'm trying to remember, like Xbox One X, I guess it does 4K, but it's like was... 30 frames per yeah, second. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, but that means it was 1080p, 60 probably. Potentially, yeah, depending yeah. on the title. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it, there is definitely an overlap of performance from the Xbox One X to the Xbox Series X. Like they, they do cross, mm-hmm. like potentially, but yeah. you're going to be missing things like ray tracing and just the newer. Um, just optimize GPUs and all that stuff. So um, I think the idea is your mass mass production of one type or generation of console, get the economies of scale going, and then just kind of move it away from Jaguar. It just makes life easier for everybody. Right. Xbox One, what year did that come out? Do you remember? Was it 2011 or 2013? It was around there. It's like eight, eight or nine think... years old at this point. So right. something like that. So it's, 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 it's served a life. Oh, for sure. Yeah. I, I literally use this thing every day. Yeah, so do I. I, I mean, I, I and I have my issues with it, I mean, to, sure. Be, you know, to be sure. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it works great I, I overall. And, um, yeah, I'm uh, curious now. It's interesting. I, I, uh, I would have expected something different, but now that you kind of lay it out like that, I think going forward with two consoles and then having that be Xbox. Mm-hmm. hardware wise makes tons of sense yeah i think it does too that way that way they just have one i don't quite we don't quite know all the details yet but it wouldn't even surprise me if the cpu coming down the line is like the exact same one but just like they do for pcs where they have binning where like the highest end or the best performing chips that come down are an i9 and if right. they're not so great they get basically declocked to an i5 it would not surprise me in the slightest if amd is producing one chip for microsoft and then they're saying, look, these are the fast ones, these are the slow ones, you know, put them in the right console, and they get higher yield that way. So, cool. 
yeah, we'll see. I'm hoping hopefully Microsoft talks about it soon, but we don't have an exact date for their July event yet, and they potentially may not announce it in July, but I don't know. They, they got to talk like about pricing here soon. So. On their hardware, they need to, if they're going to do that, they need to address that. Yeah, I don't think, it, it would be really awkward if they opened up pre-orders for the Series X and like didn't even talk about this thing, and then they launch it, and then like a week later, like, oh yeah, we got this lower price one too. About, yeah, like in other words, or even like... Um, Xbox Series X comes out this fall, and then next year they do the S, and it's like, wait, why, why, why would you do that? Yeah, um, yeah, putting them together makes sense for sure. So you got that. Um, Opera now integrates with the worst of the internet, known as Twitter, and so yeah, but they ran out of the good parts. So, <laughs> like, what else is on that <laughs> yeah. shelf? That maybe next up will be what is it, Google yeah. Circles? Is that what it was called? Google Circles. <laughs> what was that thing called? Uh, yeah, I don't I think it's Circle about or something like that. Whatever. Google um, Circles. I don't know. People who use Opera tend to love it. It's fine. I I don't personally use it, but yep, yeah, it's just good to know about. You know, it's another Chromium based browser. I mean, mm -hmm. around a while, they know what they're doing. Yeah, I think it gets the job done. Not a whole lot else happened yesterday. I mean, a lot of it's still Apple's WWDC sessions yeah, are still that's what ongoing. I was saying to my son this morning, I'm like, I've been so busy this week, and he's like, Why? What's going on? I'm like, Really not not much. I, I <laughs> you know, it's just it's just the way it's kind of worked out. I mean. Even this morning, like I've been going through the comments from yesterday, mm. you know, hundreds of comments on these Apple articles, and that's, you know, it's a lot to get through. And yeah. I, I got to be honest, I want to get by it. I, um, you know, I wrote that thing yesterday about I want Microsoft to kind of be more like Apple with regards to the way that it updates Windows. Mm -hmm. I don't want to use the Mac. I mean, I want to be really clear about that. I just bought a Mac, not so because I'm like secretly switching to it or something. Like I very much prefer windows and to remind myself of that i used the mac yesterday a bunch and uh, i don't like it <laughs> you yeah. know i just don't like it but uh, i do like what they've done with the design of the os and made it consistent both uh, across itself you know which is something windows mm -hmm. is not and with its mobile devices uh, you know someone who, like you who uses an iphone or anyone who uses an ipad or whatever i I, I would find this to be very pleasing i mean it's it's it, you know it's nice but um yeah i mean this particular <laughs> The MacBook Air is a, it's kind of a joke. I was, uh, it, you know, just playing a video full screen was enough to get the fan going, you know, which is, that's one of the things that should be um, a gimme on a mm -hmm. modern computing device. The, playing video is the easiest thing to do, which is why that's how they measure battery life, by the way. <laughs> I mean, but yeah, it's apparently a little too much for this guy. So uh, <laughs> look, look forward to compiling apps on this, I'm sure. I'm yeah. Sure that's going to work great. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll be... I don't know the full details yet, but I'm really hoping that once people get the new dev kits or whatever they call it, the A12Z mm -hmm. Oh, Bionic. I desperately want to see re performance results and yes, 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 yes. All kinds of things. Mm -hmm. How do existing apps, Rosetta, work? You know? Yeah. Uh, what's the battery life? Well, no, we won't, get, we won't get battery life yet. But what's the, um, you know, the, the, the performance compared to whatever versions mm -hmm. of today's Mac? I cannot wait yep. to see what this is like because there's been a lot of talk. You know, the A-series chips are supposedly the greatest things, you know. This is going to go two ways. We're going to find out. This is going to go two ways. Either Apple knows that the performance is better and they're not going to hold people back. And they're going to be like, yeah, just do whatever. Or there's going to be absolutely nothing. Yes, because, the, and it, this is a legit thing they could say. Like, look, this is not the chip we're putting in these computers. This is a chip from an iPad Pro. We told you we're making especially special family of silicon just for these computers. Mm -hmm. This isn't it. So this is in no way representative of what you're going to see in the real world. That said, I think it is. Yeah. <laughs> so no matter what they say, I think it is. I, I, I don't, don't get me wrong. I, I'm sure they'll scale up. Sure. You know? But it's a starting I'm point. sure they will. You got to start have. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll see. I, I, like, you know, we already said, I cannot wait to see what happens. Yeah. Very interested in this. I think, I don't think you're alone on that. And um, yep. Apple did officially confirm. I don't, I don't even know why they had to officially confirm it, but there will be no boot camp. Um, yeah, no, that that actually came up pretty early. It's just that it was they didn't mention it in the keynote. So, but there is no boot camp. That's right. So, virtualization is the the solution mm -hmm. if you need to run Linux or, Mac, or Windows on the Mac. Um, boot camp sucked anyway, guys. Yeah. You know, like that's not whatever. Who cares? And who the hell would want to run Windows ten on ARM? Yeah, on any computer, you know, uh, let alone on a Mac. I mean, that's stupid. So, although. So, Part of me says I kind of want to see it because I would love to see Windows. I would love to see Windows on ARM uh, no, okay. performance benchmarks versus like the Qualcomm yeah, okay. like Service Pro but, X. That's what I would. Again, like to so see. those chips are so specific now to Apple. Like I, it, it's not the the Windows 10 on ARM. I, actually, we should say it, 
it couldn't work anyway. We're pretending these are the same thing. Windows 10 on ARM is very specifically targeted at Qualcomm's processors. Right. You can't just put it on other ARM chipsets. It's the word ARM gets kind of conflated. You, you could almost you know, it's like remember we used to have RISC and CISC. Mm -hmm. The truth is that over time, RISC type chips, which by the way ARM chips are, took on CISC qualities and CIS, CISC chips, complex instruction set chips, took on uh, RISC capabilities, and it, they're they're. You know, they're kind of, they're, I'm not saying they're exactly the same, but I mean, obviously there's different ways of yep. reading instructions and so forth. But whatever, I mean, uh, conceptually, these things are just, they're all over the place. There's no, there's not like two camps anymore, really. And mm -hmm. every one of these ARM chips are basically, or can be, very different from each other. They aren't always actually, of course. I mean, but uh, they can be very different. Yeah, and I bet Apple's are at this point. They, oh, I bet, I, yeah, Apple so licenses ARM technology to be able to build their chips, but then yep, yeah, but that's, that's but they they moved past it so right. long ago. You know, the problem like on the Android side, it's it's just like the problem we have in Windows with all these different PCs and different companies is that you know if you're an Android hardware maker and you're choosing chipsets, like those chipsets all have to be basically, you know, they're in the same path. Like yep. they they go off of a reference design that ARM creates, and they they go from there and we see what Qual Qualcomm's been the most successful. Samsung does this. Uh, mm -hmm. Huawei does this. Other companies do it. But, you know, they have to run Android <laughs> if they're going to be on a phone or a tablet, right? I mean, so they're not going to be that different. But Apple can, you know, Apple does their own thing. They can do whatever they want. That they it's going to be interesting. Just like I can do whatever I want. Yeah. <laughs> Typical Apple. 